Wala silang komunikasyon, sira ang telepono. The city itself has no power, no water service, and no telephone line. Diyan si ang uh, naipit sa University of Baguio. Unforeseen natural phenomenon can be violent and catastrophic. The sudden onset of an earthquake can displace thousands, damage properties, and destroy the whole cities. Our long history of destructive earthquakes conveys our need to understand this natural phenomenon, its frequency, magnitude, and effects. Why does an earthquake occur? When will the next earthquake hit? Where is the safest place to stay during earthquakes? How can we prepare for the big one? These are the common questions raised about earthquakes. The shaking and rumbling of the Earth's ground can be the most terrifying seconds to experience in one's life. The Earth's layer is made of crust, mantle, outer core, and inner core. The outermost and thinnest layer of the Earth is known as the crust. The Earth's lithosphere that includes the crust in the upper mantle is fragmented into different tectonic plates. The boundaries between tectonic plates is where most earthquakes occur. An earthquake is a weak to violent shaking of the ground produced by the sudden movement of rock materials below the Earth's surface. It is recorded by an instrument called seismograph. Earthquakes can be characterized as tectonic and volcanic. Tectonic earthquake is produced by sudden movement along faults and plate boundaries. A volcanic earthquake is induced by the rising or movement of magma. In 2013, a tectonic earthquake was generated by North Bohol Fault and was felt in Bohol, leaving more than 200 people dead. Whereas, a volcanic earthquake can occur before and during a volcanic eruption of a volcano. An earthquake originates in the focus, or hypocenter, a point inside the Earth where the earthquake begins, while the epicenter is the point on the surface, directly above the focus. Most often, the grave damages can be seen near the epicenter. Magnitude is the energy released by an earthquake at the focus. It is calculated from records of seismographs. The 1960 Great Chilean Earthquake documented a 9.5 magnitude, known to be the largest and most powerful in the world. Intensity is the strength of an earthquake as perceived and felt by people in a certain locality. It is a numerical rating based on the relative effects to people, objects, environment, and structures in the surrounding. The intensity is generally higher near the epicenter. In the Philippines, the intensity of an earthquake is determined using the FIVOX earthquake intensity scale. An average of 20 earthquakes is recorded daily in the Philippines, but most of these seismic activities are not felt and can only be detected by a seismograph.
Our country is situated in what is known as the Pacific Ring of Fire. It is a horseshoe-shaped basin located in the Pacific Ocean. The Philippines is bounded by subducting tectonic plates called the Philippine Sea Plate in the east and the Eurasian Plate in the west. An offshore earthquake may occur along trenches such as Philippine Trench, East Luzon Trough, Manila Trench, Negros Trench, Sulu Trench, and Cotabato Trench. Inland earthquakes are generated by the movement of active faults, the longest of which is the Philippine Fault, a 1,300-kilometer-long fault that traverses from Ilocos region in the north to eastern Mindanao in the south. Movements along other active faults are also responsible for the high seismicity of the Philippines. The impending danger goes beyond the shaking. Large earthquake may result to earthquake-related hazards such as ground rupture, ground shaking, liquefaction, earthquake-induced landslides, and tsunami. Fire incidents may happen during or after the shaking. Aftershocks may also be expected after large magnitude earthquakes. Ground rupture is the deformation on the ground that marks the intersection of the fault with the Earth's surface. Fissures, displacement of the ground due to movement of the fault, are some of the effects of ground rupture. Ground shaking is the disruptive up, down, and sideways vibration of the ground during an earthquake. Ground shaking can cause damage or collapse of structure, may consequently cause hazards such as liquefaction and landslide. Liquefaction is a phenomenon wherein sediments, especially near bodies of water, behave like liquid similar to quicksand. Its effects can be observed in structures, such as sinking and tilting buildings above it, sand boil, and fissuring. Apart from ground rupture, ground shaking, and liquefaction, an earthquake-induced landslide, which is a downslope movement of rocks, soil, and other debris, is known to be a geologic hazard commonly triggered by strong shaking. The effects of this hazard are erosion, burial, and blockage of roads and rivers. In 1990, three main roads leading to Baguio City, which are Cannon Road, Marcus Highway and Nagildon Road were blocked. Rescue and relief operations became a challenging undertaking because of these fatal landslides. Another serious and powerful hazard is the tsunami. It is a series of waves caused commonly by an earthquake under the sea. The effects of tsunami are flooding, coastal erosion, drowning of people, and damage to properties. A destructive earthquake and tsunami hit Japan in 2011, making it one of the worst natural disasters in this century. One of the most damaging tsunamis that ever hit the Philippines happened in the coastal areas surrounding Moro Gulf. These areas were inundated with tsunami, reaching as high as 9 meters in 1976, leaving thousands homeless. Earthquakes may occur anywhere at any time of the day or night. You must know what to do before it strikes. <laughs>